Shocking is an understatement. You will be shocked and surprised to have a clue of what is going on. I don't understand this man, but I'm trying to understand him. I'm doing my best. So please pardon me. Make excuse for me. His name is called Chance Soludo, the former governor of Central Bank of Nigeria. The same state where we say Peter will be come from. Where Peter will not say just come from that state. He'll be governor of that same state before. What did it happen? The Anambra state governor dismantle all Peter will be campaign be board materials in the state. Nine Labour Party say, what did happen? What, 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 who, who we offend? What did we do you? What, what, what did we do? What did we do? What did happen? Not be small matter. Turn us katana for this matter. So. Not be small to the apple. So. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Anambra dismantles Peter Obi campaign B board. Labour Party kicks. The Anambra state government and advertisement agency has dismantled the campaign B boards of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi. Peter Obi, massive B board located at the Nandi Azikiwe University temporary site flyover was pulled down on Saturday alongside that of the party candidate for the Anambra Central Sanitaria District in the February election, Chief Victor Ome. In August 2022, the Anambra State Governor placed a public announcement directing presidential candidates to pay 10 million naira, sanitaria candidates to pay 7 million naira, House of Representative candidate to pay 5 million naira and State House of Assembly candidate to pay 1 million naira as campaign fee before mounting any billboard or poster in any area or location of the state. Reactions have continued to trade the development as stakeholders and indigents have insisted that the action had a political undertone why it was alleged that the action was ordered by the state governor, Professor Charles Soludo, because he has a personal issue with Peter Obi becoming Nigerian's president. Anambra people, Soludo is about to finish his one and all. You know what to do. Make una wait for him, <laughs> was one of the response. Somebody has said, Peter Obi's worst enemy are the Igbo elites like Charles Soludo, Arthur Eze, and others who are jealous of the fact that in the history of Nigeria, th that an Igbo man comes out to become president and there is possibility for him to achieve that with the massive support all around the country. One has said who has not, he has not become one of the greatest political, political figure in the Southeast. Peter Obi's name reign. Even if he does not win, none of them has gotten the kind of name Peter Obi has gotten in this election and he will win. The person concluded by saying that is a, uh, I don't want to mention the, the person who gave that, um, who gave his own idea. Let's continue. The person said, let's get this straight to, there is a public announcement made by the state government requesting presidential candidates to pay 10 million naira. Did Peter Obi pay and his B board was put down? And that person said, a known enemy is from those of your household. Now, Bible talk will not be me. I just, I just, I just uh, put out Bible word. And that one said, Soludo, turn yourself to, you did turn yourself to enemy. Now, one time, governor, you go be, wait, not worry. And that person said, pay the correct fee now. Pay for Peter will be make it from put a B board. So there'd be no, I mean, if you listen to the reaction, is mixed reactions coming from everybody. Okay. Why some people are, you know, for, some are against, some are saying, you know, some are asking very serious questions. Did Peter will be pay? 
and you know Charles Soludo and the advertisement you know or uh, you know uh, agency which the government has given that authority did they just go ahead and you just pull down the b boards you know and we heard uh, wiki in river state saying that peter will be when when because he pulled down the one of pdp in a, in a, in a river state and um, when he was questioned, he said PDP should do exactly what Peter Obi did when Peter Obi came to the state and Peter Obi paid. That was his submission. Okay, I'm just bringing that now to Jester Pose so that we have, we are, we are, we are looking at this, this thing, you know, we're looking at it very clearly. We're looking at it from, you know, we're not looking at it just one-sided. Because when you see a coin, when you see a coin, a coin, it is not a coin when it's just one sided. No, there are two sides to every coin, even to every story. Mm, there are two sides. You know, so when the, when, first, when the first person tell you in story, go be like, say the other person is a devil. No, you go fair wait. Any judge, whenever I hear two sides of the matter, he can't make conclusions. It's not a very good judge. Uh, it's not a very good judge because you are supposed to hear both sides of the, of the bargain, of the matter. Then you from, from there, you can infer. Okay, with evidences produced beyond reasonable facts, uh, beyond reasonable doubt. Charles Soludo, you know, has gone on to tell uh, all presidential candidates, not just Peter Obi, that they must pay money. Okay, that they must pay money. Now, the question that we are not totally sure of is if Peter Obi's party has paid the 10 million. It was, so, we did, another thing again, that, that's one question. Another question is, since he gave this order, have others been paying? Because you know when you want to put something to catch person, pay attention or pay listen well or listen. You know, so when you want to put something to catch person, you know, send only one person, for example, now you the target. Listen again, I said an example, listen, you, know, you the target one person, but you won't because you won't winch hunt that person, you go put a stumbling block, you go put one matter where we say, ah, you, if it be like, you know, if you know, say that person may not be able to meet up, I'm not saying Peter will be able to meet up, but just, you know, so that when the person defaults in that area, you can't amplify on those errors and say, hey, I talk, you know, the year word, he did disobedient, blah, 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 blah. So, before we conclude, we want to hear from Chas Saludo. Okay, we want to hear from Anambra State. Why, why on they, why on they fight on that? On what happen? What did Peter Obi do? When we know, because uh, we don't understand what he did, we need to know. Because if we don't know, we we'll go, we we'll make a wrong conclusion and assumptions. Yes, so we need to know what Peter Obi do now. We will say on the fight on our own. We need to understand it so that uh, we can, we can, we can relate with you. Otherwise, we will we'll make some kind of conclusion and you will just there at the receiving. Then you get all the bash, bash, bush, bush. You know. So we need to be very, very sure. Anyway, my wonderful people, now waiting. They happen with this election. Don't kneel. Things they happen. No. Uh, Charles Soludo don't pull down Peter Obi's uh, campaign materials in the state oh, for whatever reason. It doesn't. People are not happy. People are saying he shouldn't have done it in the first place. Yes. Anyway, my people, what do you think? Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.